Hello, Katharina Baruch and hello, Maya Ratje. Um, I'm glad that we are together to speak about a project you initiated um, some time ago and which will be now shown at the Festival Memories in Music in the Akademie der Künste in Berlin. It's called Avant Joik. It will be a film about your project, a new film. But uh, before we talk about the film, I would like to ask Katharina Barok, what is Joik? Because you're the Joik singer. Okay, that's a good question. The Joik is is uh, the traditional the tr traditional uh, um, musical way in in our culture, and it's it's made with the voice. So I would not say that it's a, it's a way of singing because it's not. It's a way of making vocals with your voice that is different to to uh, from singing, for example. And um, yeah, yeah. And your your culture you're talking about is the culture of the uh, Sami people. It's a, um, a, a group of people living north in Scandinavia with a known language and a known singing tradition, as you said. <laughs> Yes, that's correct. And also the indigenous people of, of Europe. Mm -hmm. So you're um, not only a traditional joy singer, you're also composing own songs and um, are also in the tradition of uh, singer-songwriting, Maya Ratje. You're a composer, um, performer in contemporary experimental music. Um, and you started to do this project together. How were you starting it? What were you doing? You, um, did you want to improvise, to compose? What were your plans at the beginning? And it started with an invitation from the Insomnia Festival in Tromsø in the northern Norway. And uh, they wanted me to propose a project. And uh, then we found Katarina. I didn't know about Katarina from before. So uh, we met and tried out things and I thought it was just great how uh, I could combine my, uh, my own sound world with Katarina's Joik. And also Katarina is also improvising with her voice. So we actually managed to meet somewhere aesthetically, which, uh, which I feel is like really challenging and uh, really opening some doors also for me musically. And after the initial uh, concert, we have uh, been invited to several other places. So this project is really taking off and going on uh, as a, a platform of its own. And it's really wonderful. We are also joined by visual artist Matti Aikio, who came into the project after a while. And he is now a, a, an equal member of the trio of Antioch. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that a little bit later. You you were talking about um, opening doors. Um, was this constellation of you, uh, of both of you? What was the difference to to other um, musical relationships you had for both of you? Be because you you really yeah have two different uh, traditions you come from. Yeah, to me coming from the contemporary scene. Uh, I want to uh, stretch out from that and uh, and not only perform with p equal minded people. I've always been curious to see uh, what else it's possible to do and not only be a part of the art scene in that contemporary way. And I've always been extremely intrigued by uh, Joik and the power of the Joik and the power of the how the voice is used in Joik. And when I heard Katarina, I I thought like this is going to to get get me into some new adventure musically, uh, and it feels like you know I have deep respect for the yoik, but it feels like I can also bring another dimension to it by combining the yoik with my sound world. I have never heard anything like that before being done with yoik. What what has been new for you, Maratia? What has been new for you, Katarina Barok? Perhaps starting with Katarina in the approach to maybe working together, singing together, making music together. Um, a lot of things have been new, but also in a way, no. I'm like, you always like, 
in the end it's a way of making music and we always meet through that kind of language but for me i think the 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 most like the the thing that i have learned a lot from this project and that i also remember that me and maya talked about the first time we met was the way that maya talked about what she's thinking of when she she's making all of these incredible sounds with her voice and uh, then my then then maya said that 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 um, that you are like making sounds just because of just because of exploring the sounds just because of the sake of the sound and that was really my that that opened like a lot for me musically as well like afterwards i have had that with me for a long time and that has also made me think about how i make my sounds and that's actually quite the opposite that i make a lot of different sounds with my voice but i almost every time have some kind of i see a lot of images and all of the sounds that i'm making is it's some kind of story to it or some kind of like a, a, a concrete feeling or or a place or like I see a lot of images and that was also interesting to, for me to to realize that that's also how I make music and to to be able to like combine these kind these kind of way of making music and and seeing like thinking about how how we make vocals that's i think that's really really interesting for me <laughs> did it change your approach as well maya ratke yes i think in many ways uh, which is really wonderful also meeting the tradition of the yoik uh, has me made me also very much aware of the of actually the political contents here. The yoik is also used for, uh, you know, for yoiking. You, you are actually not singing about something, you are singing the thing itself. And when Katarina is yoiking about suppression of her own people, then it becomes something much more than just making sense to me as well. So it's also affecting the way I think about music and music and meaning. Of course, I'm dealing with meaning in my music as well, but coming from a contemporary point of view. And so now coming from a <laughs> contemporary uh, 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 so platform myself, uh, I'm used to music concrete thinking and uh, working with sound analysis and those things. And then meaning and feelings and all those things, they come second. But with Katarina, it's much more immediate also. It was when I improvise with her, the way I use the voice, it, it becomes something much more than sound producing. I, I guess I've just been very tired of my own sound producing for so many years that I'm longing for this more concrete uh, uh, challenge as well. We are um, um, talking about a project which is in the context of memories in music, but it has, but also I see there uh, maybe a, a, a point which relates to memories because um, you see, you mentioned the political aspect and you sing in a language which is lost. And is there maybe a yeah um, factor that uh, Joik is also in in your culture a memory? Or is it all always present? I would first of all like to say that I don't sing in a language that is lost. I sing in a language that that is uh, that has uh, gotten a lot of oppression, but it's but it's mostly alive, and uh, and lives today. And uh, that's that's incredible. You, um, like, yeah. So, so that's the thing. And and. Uh, uh, and about the memories, like, uh, of course, like, we need to, to separate, like, I do a lot of things also in this project. I'm not um, only, and that's not, if I would have been that, that would not 
have been only to be something either. But I'm not only a traditional joiker. I am also like a composer and, and I improvise a lot of sounds that, that is not joik. So I, so, so I think we need to separate those things. But when I'm, when I'm like, uh, uh, to, to answer the question uh, out of like, uh, about the traditional joik, of course, the traditional joik carries a lot of memories. And it has also, in a way, been the Sami, the Sami literature. And so we have, so we, so that has been our way of telling stories, remem remembering people and places. Uh, so, uh, so it carries a lot of, of memories, but, but it also, it can also be something that happens in the present when you actually make a joy in that, in that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry for the cliché questions, because I'm really very new to that. Um, you developed that project together, and then you uh, already mentioned that you took a video artist in. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about um, the collaboration you started. Yeah, Matti is uh, an artist living in Finland. He's also a Sami artist. Uh, but he was living in Norway for a long time, so the people that we met in Tromsø when we collaborated with Insomnia, they knew Matti and they suggested him to us. So when we started to do more concerts with Davantjoik, Matti has become a natural part of this. And he's not used to doing these kind of live visuals that you see at concerts, so it's new to him as well. He is a visual artist, he makes fantastic video works and photographies and conceptual works. But uh, he, his work is exclusively used in this way for Avantjoik. And he's using nature footage, which is used in a very abstract way. So you don't see clear, clearly what the objects are. But it, for example, you can have water and ice making patterns and shapes. We also try to find the links together. Mati shows us from his footage and then we relate to that and suggest which kind of compositions that go well with his work. For example, there is a part where the water is catching light and glittering and that is mixed together with, uh, with the part where Katarina plays uh, music on uh, her silvery, her own traditional silvery. We have, for example, done that. We are not going to do that necessarily for the new video that we are creating for Berlin now, but we find similar links and we try to, to make a bridge where you actually uh, don't really distinguish that much between what you hear and what you see anymore. It all becomes one picture or one image or one composition together. Could you please tell me what you're planning for Berlin? You are planning a concert, then you're planning a film, uh, a new film for the festival at the Akademie der Künste, and you have to change plans a lot. What are you working on right now? Who wants to start? So, right Katarina. now, Maya has sent me. Maya, can you tell me a little bit about I have made some tracks for Katarina, where I'm using uh, live electronics and processing my own voice and a gong actually for the first time into Avantjoik this time. So then Katarina is going to add her uh, vocals and Joik onto that. Mm. And then you Katarina, you're going to record something that I haven't heard before either. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to do something, something a cappella with, with Joik and, and voice. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Actually, it, it will be nice to to see like what will happen and how it yeah. will sound. So you and... ex you exchange files and you send back and and mix it. And yeah, and we also the, uh, video film it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, this will be used uh, in the end. Matte will put together a video with our music that we have uh, worked with, both acoustic and electronic. And then Matti will add his own images as well to the finished video. So it will be uh, an exclusive video for Adeka in the end. Mm. We're looking forward to it. 
Thank you for the Thank talk, you. Katharina Baruch and Mayra <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.